Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to de-bloat your Windows installation. So if you buy a computer from the store or even if you build your own and install Windows yourself, there's going to be a bunch of extra Windows apps that Microsoft likes to put on your computer. So this is a pretty clean installation here. You can see we have some family feedback, game bar, maps, clip champ, to do, news, and so on. All kinds of stuff probably don't want on there because we'll never use it. All right, so it's a free program called Bloatbox. So you just download it and unzip the zip file. Then you just run the executable. So it's going to show you the available apps that you could uninstall. Like so. Some of them might not make sense what they are, like, you know, this... Uh, Microsoft Windows client file exp so you're obviously going to probably want to leave stuff like that alone if you click on show system apps you get a little warning here to be picky about which system apps to uninstall and it says you could uninstall most of them even ones that don't have an uninstall option and then it says that you can't uninstall things like Microsoft Edge .NET and so on so we'll say okay so now we have 107 instead of 70 All right, so let's say we want to remove ClipChamp. We'll add to the list here. Obviously, you could add all, but obviously you don't want to do that. Let's see what else. I'm assuming that's the Microsoft To Do app. Let's get rid of Maps. And let's get rid of your phone. Okay, so we've got ClipChamp, ToDo, Maps, and Phone. So let's uninstall those. You can see what's going on at the top here. All right, so get a message here saying it was successful. All right, so let's do a search for ClipChamp. All right, so it shows here, but then when we click on it, it opens up a website because it's not actually on the computer. Okay, let's look up to do. Nope, that's not showing up either. All right, how about maps? Okay, this is just taking you to the offline maps. It's not the actual maps app. And then your phone. Nope, only the mobile device settings. Then we have this link here. If we click on this, it tells you this will add all the annoying bloatware apps pre-installed on Windows 10, including some apps your PC manufacturer include in the removal list. It says most of these apps are garbage. Uh, if you find important stuff on the list, just remove it in the right before hitting uninstall. So if we click on yes, it'll load up what it thinks you should get rid of. And then you could just uninstall from there. So that's a nice feature. And then there's one more feature up here, optional features, download the community version. So this will download a PowerShell script on your computer here, which I've already done. And I have this right here. So the only downside to this, if you run it, well, first, what you have to do, um, if it's a new installation, you have to run this PowerShell command here, set execution policy unrestricted. Otherwise, it's going to say it can't do it. And then once you're there, you can navigate to the directory that has this file here. Then you can type period backslash in the name of the script and press enter. So this is just going to de-bloat your computer and just do everything. But you can run it again to revert it if you don't like what it did. It just doesn't show you what it's going to do. So that's something you could run, I suppose. If we click on this here again, it tells you what it's going to do here. So it's going to deploy your computer and you can see what it's going to remove. If you go to the GitHub repository, it uh, removes the registry keys that are associated with those apps. And then it performs a couple privacy steps here too, stopping some telemetry functions and Cortana and so on. And you can see this is Windows 10 deep loader. So it's designed for Windows 10, but this seems to work pretty well for Windows 11 also. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Bloatbox and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.